Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. I'm here to seal this stamp concrete floor inside this pole barn. Um, I'm sealing it with my favorite stamp concrete sealer, which is Foundation Armor's AR350. I really like this sealer. It, it helps darken the concrete, brings out the colors, uh, gives it a really good, nice topical seal to it, protects it against chemicals, protects it against salt damage, um, and it just really enhances the color on the stamp concrete. So this is my favorite. Seal it for stamp concrete. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I would highly recommend it. So what we did in preparation for this is we, we cleaned it really good, we vacuumed it, we uh, took a leaf blower to it, blow it out any dust. So now we're just getting ready to seal it. So I've got my sealer and my pump up sprayer. I'm using a stainless steel pump up sprayer. You'll see me using it in a minute. And we're just gonna spray on one nice coat right now. I've already got two coats on this. Uh, we did that before they built this place. Now I'm coming back to put the final coat on after it's all up and built, so it'll have a brand new look to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time watching me and you're new to this channel, my channel is all about concrete stuff, things related to concrete. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification. I come out with a couple videos a week. Also, if you're finding value in this video, then I'd appreciate it if you go down there and hit the like button. It'll just help get the video out to more people so we can we can share and teach everybody how to how to deal with concrete. So the sprayer I'm using is uh is the Chapin Extreme stainless steel sprayer. This one is a three and a half gallon. I'll have a link for that down in the description, as well as a link for the Foundation Armor sealer down in the description if you guys want to get this. But I like this sprayer because it, it holds up really well with the solvent based sealer. I mean the solvent is going to eat away at any of the uh, seals in a, in a cheap sprayer but with this sprayer the seals are made specifically for solvents so we use this over and over again. All we do is clean it when we're done with either some acetone or some xylene and uh, we can use this over and over again. So if you guys are wondering like how long does a sealer like this last well, if it's, if it's applied properly, this sealer will last about two to five years before you have to reapply it and make it look like new again. And it's, it's real easy to reseal. I mean, it's basically just cleaning it, like I did here, vacuum it. Uh, you could even pressure wash it, then let the concrete dry out for at least a day, and then just respray it or re-roll it. So uh, you could use an 18 inch roller or an, even a nine inch roller to apply this stuff, but I prefer spraying it. It's just a little quicker for me, a little faster. And you know, with a good sprayer like this, you can see it's spraying out a really nice fine mist. So it gets really good coverage. Speaking of coverage, I mean, on, on smooth surfaces or stamped concrete, I like to go about 300 to 400 square feet a gallon uh, per coating. You're always going to want to do at least two coatings. Like I said, I've already sealed this after we actually did the stamp concrete. And then I'm going coming back here to put on another coat after the building's up just to make everything look brand new again. On smooth surfaces like a garage floor or a, a hard troweled surface, you'd get about, you know, three to four hundred, like I said. And then on porous stuff like pavers or bricks, you know, you're going to be down to about two to 250 square feet a gallon. Now, Foundation Armor also makes this in a bunch of different colors. It comes in, I think, 13 or 14 different colors. I'll put the color chart up here. So, I mean, if you've got old and worn looking pavers or bricks, or even if you've got a garage floor that you want some color to, you could spray your garage floor with a colored sealer of the AR350. And uh, like I said, I'll put the color chart up for you guys. You can check that out. Now, some other things this sealer can be used for is, like I said, you can use it on concrete floors, obviously stamped concrete like I'm doing here. You can use it on exposed aggregate concrete. You can use it on brick pavers, uh, concrete bricks, like I said, garage floors. You could, if you've got a concrete driveway, you could use this sealer for that. Concrete walkways, sidewalks pool decks, patios. Uh, you could also use it on if you've got a big retail store or space or even a warehouse floor. This sealer is good for all that kind of stuff. But uh, 
You know, I, I really like this seal. I really like this company. They got really good customer service. If you got any questions, you can call them up and ask them. They're right in New Hampshire. They make this stuff. So, uh, sealers made in the USA also. And, uh, I mean, the key is just having a, a good quality sealer that's going to do its job and, and, you know, perform well under all kinds of different circumstances. So, for me, you know, we do a lot of stamp concrete and... We don't want the sealers to fail. I mean, that kind of ruins the whole look of the concrete, having to strip a bad sealer off. So we've gone through a lot of them over the years, and this is the one we've settled on, and this is the one we have real good luck with, and it seems to perform the best out of all the sealers I've used in the past. So that's why I highly recommend this one. That's it guys. Foundation Armors AR350. Right here. This is a sealer you want to use for stamp concrete. This is a sprayer you want to use with this sprayer. Sprays on a nice even mist. It goes on real easy. Just doesn't get any easier than that.